going back to Bonin Vassal. We're going to be starting the trial plane as Miles Edgewood. So you do nothing. Yeah. Good job. You get a little bit of a vacation. You, you, you need it. You know, it's cool. From, yeah. From your shitty voice act. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like. Oh, hi. Mr. Reese. Mr. It's not already. Mr. <laughs> Reese feels that way about. He. Apparently, he isn't aware of your real secret at all. There's no time to be embarrassed. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm really accustomed to that sort of thing. Sorry, not. And in any case, whatever it was that he saw on the night of the incident, mark my words, I will drag it out of him. Does that mean Mr. Re Luis is the witness today? No. I believe that none will be the first to take the stand. Sister Bikini, who claims to have seen the very incident in which you carried out the crime. I just want to ask you one last time. If it wasn't you who killed Mr. Lee Stoneham, correct? That is correct. It wasn't me. Very well then. Um, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes? You are a prosecutor, aren't you? Are you sure about this? If your true identity is revealed. <coughs> Who the fuck was that? <coughs> <coughs> Don't worry. I've made the necessary arrangements. Uh, I see. Iris, it is a prosecutor's job to doubt people. Right now, I am a defense attorney. The defense attorney's job is to believe in people, to believe until the bitter end. That's what my friend once told me once. Mr. Edgeworth, I simply ask that you watch and decide for yourself whether or not I am fit to do the task that I have been entrusted. Very well, sir. Very, sir. Very well, sir. I leave my defense in your capable hands. This fucker. Yep. Damn it. The only two judges in the entire country. Cart is now in session for the trial of Sister Iris of the Hasakura Temple. The defense is ready, your honor. The defense does indeed appear to be ready. However, the same cannot be said for the prosecution in this case. Indeed. <coughs> I'm not sure I like such a blatant waste of this course time. An empty prosecutor's chair can only mean that the prosecutor has no confidence in their ability to prove their case. It would seem this case is already over before it had a chance to begin. I am ready to announce my verdict at this time. This court finds the defendant. Oh, sh boom, called it. The prosecution stands ready. Who the fuck are you? Franciscan Van Karma, prosecuted prodigy. Van, Van Karma, you say? Perchance you wouldn't be of any relation to the legendary prosecutor Manfred Van Karma? Legends are a thing of the past. I am a Van Karma. That is all. Upon a special request, I flew in today for the purpose of prosecuting this case. You did? Then you must be quite a big shot, eh? By the way, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. I'm almost certain that i seen you somewhere before. Or am I just imagining things? You look very much like a prosecutor I met once. I believe you're imagining things, Your Honor. I mean, look at the badge on my on my lapel. This is clearly a defense attorney's badge. Mm. Why would I be a prosecutor? Wait, it's that small? Yeah, yeah. That's what it looks like, yeah. No way. Mm -hmm. It's tiny. <laughs> Mr. Ron Karma, do you have anything to say? There is no such weakling as this man among those in the prosecutor's office. There... there isn't. 
But I'm sure once before it- ah! I told you there was no such leakling. Whoa, whoa, what is that? A whip? I'm not sure I care for such a thing in my courtroom. Be bailiff! Remove that whip at- I have no objection to the whip. You- you don't? The prosecution can wield the whip or drink 17 cups of coffee. But there was still only one truth. That is what I stand here to prove today. This promises to be interesting, Miles Edgeworth. I had expected to face Phoenix right here today. But looking at you now, maybe this is what I have been waiting for all this time. Miles Edgeworth, I would not allow this chance to crush you, but to slip but through my fingers. <laughs> Very well said, Francisca. <coughs> I see you bought your flair for the hist uh, hist historic. Also well said, Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> uh, allow me to add the things I'm not sure about. People acting bizarrely in my court. Ah! The stage is set. I continued with the proceedings, your honor. Very well. Miss Von Karma, please give an outline of this case. With as little whipping as possible. The murder victim is the same pitching book Arthur, Miss Lee Stoneham. The body was found in the Heiser Code Temple Courtyard. It had been stabbed through the torso by a ceremonial sword of a golden statue. The sword in this picture is the weapon in question correct. Very well. The court accepts this photo at the crime scene. Crime photo, the, the courtyard, courtyard where Elise Donum was murdered. You fucking asshole. There is not a mistake. This is the stewing of Sister Iris. After all, there is a witness to her crime. Very well. Please bring this witness to the stand. That's how it begins. My first, my last trial as a defense, as a defense attorney. <laughs> witness, if you name an occupation, please. Hold on here. I'm not sure about not. I'm not about being not sure if I care for this at all. <laughs> witness. Please stand up nice and straight. If I recall correctly, there are a few milk milkmaids in the defendant's lobby for our back pain plague witness. Bailiff, fetch a crate for this poor lady, please. Let's give your name and occupation, please. Oh God, that's right. Not of Hazakura Temple on Eagle Mountain. My name is Bikini. You got it? Bikini. Nice to meet everyone. But you don't appear to be wearing a bikini right now. Ah! The courts would be the good of holy judgment. Those would literally in their hearts to leave the sanctuary at once. You, you want to leave? No, I want you to leave. You want me to leave? No need to get your bikinis in a twist. Let me tell you, I'm a sight to behold in summer. In any case, with this, I feel that you saw the crime take place in the night in question. That's right. I can so hardly believe it myself, to be honest. There's no way dear little Iris could do anything like that. Let us hear what you have to say then. Farce, tell us about your own movements that night, eh? The night of the murder. That night I was helping in Hackalite with her training in the inner temple, but... Well, as you can see, my back likes to act up violently. So, 
I left Iris to help the acolyte and returned as a current temple. There's no bath at the inner temple, you see, and I needed a long, hot soak. It was after I had finished, just as I was heading back, that's when I saw it. Hmm. So it was simply coincidence that you found yourself returning to Hazakura Temple? Yes, you could say that. If my back hadn't been in so much pain, I would have stayed at the inner temple. That sounds like a pretty important statement she just made. There's only one problem with this testimony that I can see. And you're not about to fall at the first hurdle now, are you? Miles Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, please begin your cross examination. And then I was hoping an alcohol would be training in the temple. But... What is this in a temple? Well, see, conversing with the spirits is what we train people to do, right? They'll be the ones asking you the questions, madame. In order to do that, a place, strong and spiritual power is required. There's a small temple across Dusky Bridge called the Inner Temple. I'd like to spend an entire night there to undergo intense training. And how exactly do you help with this process? It is all quite exacting. It can be performed without a nun supervising. Like a tutor, watching to make sure it's for a child's studies. It's a bit of whip in your case. If that is the case, then why don't you return to the Hazakura Temple where the murder took place? Well, as you can see, my back legs ached up violently. Violently? That's right! It's no laughing matter, especially in winter! I can't hold anything heavier than a knife and fork during the cold months. Just being alive is like strict training! The <laughs> night of the murder, was this fabulous back of yours hurting again? <laughs> Sorry for that car! That's right! Raging like a bull in a pig pen! I almost fainted once or twice! I just knew that unless I warmed it up, it was going to finally finish me off! So I left Iris to help the Acolyte and returned to Hazakura Temple. You left Iris to help? With what? What do you think? The Acolyte's training, of course! It was just past 10 p.m., so we were starting to enter into the training exercises proper. Wasn't it your place to remain with the disciple? Well, the job is simply to watch over the acolytes so that they don't pass away. Just to confirm this point again, that night, you met Iris at the Inner Temple, correct? Yes, yes. She's a gentle, honest girl. She's never once failed to follow my directions. There's God. no bath in, in a temple, you see, and I need a long hot soup. So you, I'm so used to you speaking to I know, every time it pans over that way, I'm yeah. like, okay, it's my turn. Yeah, yeah. So you return to the Hazako Temple in order to take a bath. <laughs> my back is to blame for everything. It's a do or be done in kind of world after all. How long were you in the bath for? If you don't mind me asking. My, my, my! What a filthy little rogue you are! I know what's on your mind. I bet your next question is going to be... Where exactly did you... Wash? This is why you have to watch the young ones. <laughs> what are you going on about? I was... Ah! <clears throat> Pathetic, Myers Edgeworth. The lowest of the low. Dude, he's just some kind of kick me size stuck to my little defenses bench. Anyway, 
away. I couldn't afford to be away from my post for too long, you understand, so... I was after I, it was after I finished. Just as I was heading back, that's when I saw it. The crap took place in the courtyard, correct? When you go from my room to the main hall, you have to take a winding hallway from which you can see the courtyard. That's right, in other words, it was pure coincidence <laughs> that the witness saw the crime taking place before her eyes. There is no complicated setup in this case. Mmm, that certainly seems to be true. There is indeed only one problem with this testimony. I clearly point out what it is, that I can begin to quantify just how good this witness have and memory and observation skills are. Oh, wait, what do you want me to do? Uh, you're, you're the... You're the attorney now, so sorry. I know everything. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Um. All right. Oh, yeah. uh, then, then I was well, let's look at the evidence we have. I oh. forgot what evidence we have. Okay. So we got the victim staff, which was carried by Lee Stodom when she was alive, and it has mm. her fingers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the Shichishito. Uh, also, remember that this uh, victim staff had an orb mm -hmm. in the middle, like on the top of it. Fucking god damn it. Uh, the Shichishito was the, the apparent murder weapon, has the victim's blood and the suspect's fingerprints on it. Uh, there's a hanging scroll that shows Misty Fay, and Maya knew that because of the symbol at the top. Right. Uh, I was this hood, uh, received, uh, gave, she gave that to Phoenix, uh, before the lights out bell and the night of the crime appetites from evil spirits. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the note to Iris from Larry. From Larry, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, telling Larry, uh, telling Iris to come to the Heavenly Hall at 10, but she didn't come. But she was still scared because, uh, it said that, make sure you come out, let's see why you have secret things, but... Yes. Larry had no fucking clue what the secret was, but right. Iris was still afraid that of a secret right, being exposed. Right, 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 Yeah. Uh, here's the map right here. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, the weather data. Uh... Yep. No, it was snowing from 7 to 10.50, okay? And it was lightning from 10 to 11. And then, uh, uh lightning struck at, uh, Dusky Bridge at 10.45 and ended at, uh, 11.15. Uh, here's the magazine. Uh, photo of release, yeah. I mm -hmm. think that if you, uh, if there's, like, a contradiction between, like, uh, the orb is missing or something like that, you you present this, proving that there was an orb. There. Right, right, right. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Hogwarts in the background right there. Yes, yeah. definitely looks like it. Uh, I was just testimony. She read out the, the uh, she read the lights out bell at 10 p.m. and then she was in her room until the murder was discovered. Uh, Elisa's autopsy report: uh, cause of death uh, was loss from blood from stabbing in the back, and her body fell 10 feet after the death. And here's a grand photo. Right. Okay. So, that night, I was helping an acolyte with her, inner train with her training in the inner temple, but, well, as you can see, my back like I ached up, acted up violently. So I left Iris to help the, uh, with, uh, to help the acolyte, and they returned to the house of Kura Temple. Mm -hmm. There's no bath in the inner temple, you see, and I needed a long hold. So, that's what I had finished, just after I was heading back, that's when I saw it. When I was heading back... Oh, she was heading back in a lightning storm? Just kidding. Um, yeah. You're not devoted to uh, these religious people, eh? That's when I saw it. It was after I had finished doing. Finished taking a bath. Yeah. There's no bath at the inner temple. We didn't see one over there. So I left Iris and returned. Okay. Yeah, left Iris at the uh, inner temple. So she was at Hazakura. She left to go take a bath. No, 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 no. They are. Uh, she's saying that they were both at the inner temple. Okay, she left to go to Hazakura Temple to take a bath. And then to go to the Hazakura Temple. Yes. Being the Iris at the inner temple. And then when she was done, she do we know what time she left? The inner temple. Well, I presume when the body was found. She left the inner temple when the body was oh, found. Oh no, no, they uh, left Hazakura. Left okay. the inner temple. We had right. Left. And the body was Probably found before the bridge at like down. eleven. Is that when the body was found in the evidence? Uh, you can assume that, uh, for the weather data, because uh, Phoenix saw the bridge on fire, mm -hmm. we can assume that it's, like, at 10.45. Okay. That's when the body was Oh, found. and she ra and they rang the lights out 
at 10. So Iris, I mean not Iris, Bikini would have left by then, right? <coughs> so she yeah. went all the way back. So between, okay, so we could assume that like between 10 and 10.45 the murder took place. But it had to have yeah. been after she got back to Hasegura Temple. I don't know how long of a walk that is. It's quite long, but... So let's say, like, it had happened between, like, 10.15, 10.45. Let's not think about the time to you. Let's okay. think about the locations. Yeah, okay. Oh. Okay, let's go through this. Let's go through the statements. I'm, I'm not seeing anything. Come okay, on. so she was uh, helping to act like with yep, the training. Yep, so in her temple. temple. Yep, yeah, but... Yeah, in the temple. My back legs act up, yes. Yeah. So, so I left, left Iris. Probably around 10. Yeah, so a little I, before. So, yeah, so she left Iris at the inner temple. Yeah. Bikini went to Hasakura Temple. And then. And went to Hasakura Temple. And then once she was done with the bath at Hasakura Temple, she saw the motor. Right. Well. That doesn't necessarily prove that just because she left and Iris was there that. Iris didn't leave too. Oh. What was Iris? Iris was at the inner temple. That's what she said. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Well, what what am I missing here? Because I thought that that's that was the deal. She said that she was at the inner temple. Is that what she said? Iris. Yeah. She never said that. Oh no, she said she was at the other one because she met she was going to meet Larry there, right? No. <laughs> okay, let's see your testimony. That's it? Where is her room at? At Hanzakura Temple. Oh. She said she didn't want to leave because she was afraid of Larry. Oh that was so the whole the key testimony contradicts that yeah, so and it appears that she stayed at the inner temple I was a good temple but I oh she was because she was helping was she helping Maya at the inner temple bikini okay, okay. I thought yes. bikini was at the inner temple helping Iris no okay okay Jesus Christ okay you don't need to fucking be over bikini went over to the inner temple yeah. to help with Maya okay oh to help with Maya okay to help with Maya and she claims that she saw Iris there, even yeah. though Iris says that she never even left Hotsukura Temple because she was scared of Larry. Mm, right. Okay. So that. Okay. So that's what the whole like point of contention, the whole point of confusion ha was during the entire investigation. Gotcha. Because yeah. she, because Bikini saying she saw her there. Yeah. But, but Iris, said, Iris said she was she, never there. She was never there. Because she has an evil twin. Went to the one one probably. My bad. Which one did I? Oh yeah, that's one I did that. Okay. There you go. Good job. Thanks. But this is after uh, to undergo their own trials. I'm afraid. The defendant's fate rests on the powers of observation and memory. After all. Well, well, well. Don't worry. I'm more than up to the task. I'm a woman of faith, after all, the head honcho of Hazakura Temple. In that case, Miss Honcho, I'd like you to explain something for, uh, for me. The discrepancy between your testimony and that of the defendant Iris. Oh, now you're talking about my discrepancy, you dirty little dog. She claims that after reading the lights out bell, she went back and stayed <coughs> in her room. Which means she did not go to the inner temple at all. No! She said that! I defend it on a witness. It is more likely to lie, do you suppose? The defendant simply lied to cover her back. Objection. But that is completely illogical. The murder was uh, committed in the courtyard of Hasakura Temple. Claiming that she went to the inner temple would make for a better, much better alibi. Oh, that is odd! Whatever the reason, I can't believe it, she would lie! Mmm, she does indeed have honest eyes. Wow! A lot of people lie. That is my belief. Why am I the only one being whipped in here? Anyway, 
neither the witness nor the defendant have any reason to lie which means we must call your memory into question Uh, well, that isn't exactly what I... My memory is perfect, crystal clear, especially in winter. Then I suppose it's too early to end this cross-examination, eh? Mr. Edgeworth, if you are going to question the memory of this witness, you will need to show me a more decisive piece of evidence. Understood, Your Honor. It's not even to think that I, that <coughs> would do the trick. Did you get this coughing person in the fucking Jesus gallery? Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah, who, the, the coffer, please get out. Then please add your comments about Iris to the testimony. And let us return to the cross examination. Uh, oh, okay. Uh. Oh, here's a new statement. Iris came to the inner temple. She was dressed exactly as she had been at dinner. Are you sure that you're not making a mistake? You young men need to get your estimation of me up from the floor. <laughs> Iris always wears the same clothes. The smallest thing out of place would have stood out like a sore thumb to me. You're making a mistake thinking I made a mistake. And actually, I'm finished there, witness. Still, I have to wonder. Alright, so what am I doing? Hmm. She was dressed exactly as she'd been at dinner. Do we know what she looked like at dinner? Yes, because we saw her at dinner. Well, I don't remember what the fuck she looked like. Well, maybe you should look at the screen. What Iris looked like? Yeah, what Iris looked like. Uh, oh, Iris's hood. Oh. Received before the lights out bell night of the crime. She was wearing that at dinner? Yeah. And then she gave it away? Yeah. So then there's no way she could have looked like that after? Yeah. Boom. With this, let's get one thing straight. The defendant whom you claim to have met was wearing this demon warding hood, correct? Of course. That is a very important piece of clothing, I'll have you know. <laughs> Wait a minute. The hood is right there. Why do you have that? That's the question of the day now, isn't it, Miss Von Connor? I'll have you know that this hood was given to someone as a gift that night. Before the lights out bell that was run. That... You know where I'm going with this, don't you? If the witness had seen the defendant as she claims, then the iris she saw should have been missing this very hood. Well, well, well. That's not at all. There's a contradiction like this. I don't understand that happy look on the right face every time he does it. Order, order in the court. Wah! Sister, this hood. You have, a sp you have spare ones around the temple, don't you? Spares? Well, I do tend to make too many of them. I see. A stockpile, a surplus of hoods, eh? Each knot is only given one hood. One? This should be the only hood that Iris owned. Hmm. Then this is quite strange. Wah! If there was a surplus of hoods, then she could have won one of those. There's no contradiction here. Mm. I'm sorry to put this to you, Miss Von Comer, but you won't get away that easily. Discrepancies such as these were so seasoned in the human heart. The seeds of doubt. Witness. Well, I don't wish to call your testimony into doubt. You must give every detail with precision. I'm not sure I'm comfortable going along with this. Sister, you shan't continue with your testimony. You shall. Tell us what you saw after you finished your bath on your way back to the inner temple. Those seeds are doubt are sprouting that judge's heart. You just need a little more stimulation to bear fruit. Contradictory stimulation. 
and we get some stimulation on the, the next, next episode, episode of Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney, Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. Trials and tribulations. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell so you can be notified every time we upload every single day. Love you. Bye.